Uh, first, three women, one man, and a devastating acid attack. Tonight, a jury is hearing the sordid details of this criminal case. Ophelia Garcia and Marcia Alvera Garcia used to date the same guy. Prosecutors say when they found out that he was dating a third woman, they got together, got mad, plotted the attack. It happened two years ago on the north side. Three teenagers were actually caught on surveillance tape throwing the acid on the victim. Today, they took the stand against the two defendants as part of a plea deal. Darlene Hill spoke with the victim today. She joins us from the courthouse. Dar, this certainly sounds like one sick story. Robin, opening statements began early this morning, and by lunchtime, the first, vic the first witness had already taken the stand in this trial that's only supposed to last just a couple of days. Now, tomorrow morning, when the uh, trial resumes, the victim in this crime, Esmeralda Medina, will take the stand. That attack, she told me, left her permanently scarred, both emotionally as well as physically. Now, she wasn't able to tell me what she's going to say on the stand tomorrow morning, but she did tell us that life for her is almost getting back to normal. Depressing, it will take a lot of energy, anxiety, but little by little I've been going and, and trying to do whatever I can do. Now, Medina was in the courthouse today while her daughter took the stand. That was probably the toughest testimony of the day. Prosecutors held up pictures of the victim for the jury to see while Shirley Medina fought back tears and told the court what her mother looked like just moments after the attack. Now, three teenage suspects all took the stand today as well, telling the court how they threw acid on Medina while she was getting something out of her car. Two of them cried while they talked about the victim trying, crying and screaming for help when the acid hit her skin. The third victim, or the third suspect in this crime beat her with a baseball bat but well, the two defendants Ophelia Garcia and her ex-daughter-in-law Maria Oliveira Garcia are accused of hiring the teenagers and allegedly told them to steal the victim's purse to make it all look like a robbery while well, Medina says she's glad that there's a lot of support for her inside the it feels great because I know that some people support me most of the people support me and that gets me um, more energy to go on and fight back now, both women in this crime, uh, if found guilty in this trial, face up to 45 years in prison. They've been, uh, they've been, they're here charged with heinous battery. Now, three teenagers said struck a deal with prosecutors. One of them is already out of juvie detention on probation. The other two will be out in a couple of years. Robin, back to you in the studio. And Darlene, the man who is, according to prosecutors, at the center of all this, is he expected to testify? Well, that man will not be here anywhere near the courtroom. He's already apparently moved to Mexico with yet another woman. Okay. Thanks, Darlene Hill, for that live report.